So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about can we rig the uh, curve object in blender yes you heard right usually what happen exactly we can easily rig the our mesh object in the blender but what if i want to rig a uh, like curve object in a blender can we do it yes i'll show you how you can do it but first of all i'm going to show you how easily we can rig the mesh object but not a curve object let's see it here you can see we have one of mesh object and here you can see if we want to rig this mesh object yeah we can say we if we want to control the deformation of this object with the help of the bone so we can do easily or how we can do it basically we have to select our object we have to select our bone then we have to just go to our uh, okay and then we have to just press the control p and here we are getting one option it's called basically with automatic weight and what it does exactly basically it is calculating the object surface and adding the uh, weight paint according to the object to the uh, and assigning to the bones also and then we are getting some good deformation effect here here you can see if i'm just going to my pose mode and if i'm just going to move my uh, basically uh, what we can say bone so we can easily see how easily and how cool it is deforming very nicely and if we have to do the same thing with our curve object can we do it so let's start it and uh, let's see if we can do it or not so now here you can see this is our curve object and this is our uh, bone so if i'm just going to press the control p now here you can see there is no option of the automatic way that's mean we are not able to rig directly we are not able to control this uh, what we can say curve with the bones so now how we can do it there is a very simple trick i'm going to show you here let's do it what we have to do physically first of all we have to just select our bone then we have to just go to our pose mode and we have to select one bone okay then we have to just exit from the uh, pose mode then we have to press the shift and then we have to select our um, curve object again we have to just press the tab then go to the uh, edit mode then we have to select one vertices and here we have to do press the control h and here we are getting one option is called hook to selected object bone just click it and here you can see there is a automatic a hook modifier will activate it now we have to repeat this uh, process with all of them now what i'm going to do basically exit mode from the uh, edit mode then we have to select our bone then we have to go to uh, pose mode then we have to select that bone which is we have to link with that uh, particular vertices then we have to exit mode from the pose mode then again we have to press the shift then we have to go to the uh, edit mode of this curve then we have to select that particular vertices again we have to press the control h hook to the select object to bone now here you can see and we will repeat this process until we not reach at the end go to the pose mode select that bone exit from the pose mode press the shift then select this uh, curve object go to the edit mode select that vertices press the control h hook to selected object to bone again exit from the pose mode sorry uh, edit mode select the bone select the pose uh, go to the pose mode select this bone again go to the object mode select the curve object pressing the shift go to the edit mode select the bone what both vertices right now and then press the control h and do hook and now here we can see guys if i'm just going to select my bone and if i'm just going to control basically if i'm just going to rotate it now here you can see we can nicely control our basically a uh, curve with this bone also and that's very easy and cool trick guys and that's how you can create any kind of wire animation any kind of tail animation that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys and i hope you enjoy because that is something which is maybe this is new to you also and uh, this is very tricky part and i very easily figured out how we can do it and there is a very cool modifier hook modifier with the help of this we can able to do that because indirectly what we are doing with the mesh object we can't direct we can't do it with the cob object that's why we have to do this and we have to come with this process but uh, now we can able to control our uh, rig yeah basically control our curve 
with the bones also all right guys so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something from this video please hit the like button and the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment and uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe my channel also and if you have any kind of suggestion any kind of suggestion of the new topics if you want i should make the video on that topics please make sure do the comment below down i'll definitely make that video on it okay so thanks for watching guys and bye bye love you take care and stay home